moving on YouTube, Gios right here. So in today's video we have important updates for the Uncovered Jailbreak that has been released two days ago. And this jailbreak is actually a jailbreak for iOS 11.0 all the way up to iOS 11.4 Beta 3 and everything in between. Now important updates have been posted including an update to the CDI Impactor by Soric and we're going to discuss about that. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare and their software iCare phone which allows you to back up your device in an easier fashion than with iTunes and of course provides you the tools to fix your device if it's broken, the iOS doesn't boot, or if you want to extract specific information from the file system like your contacts and so on. Check the program out in the link below. So a day ago I made this video in here which is pretty much the release video for the uncovered jailbreak which is meant to replace the Electra jailbreak. You probably know that the Electra jailbreak was buggy, it was very poorly implemented with code that is actually barely even working. Now the uncovered jailbreak has been in the works since the summer and I've been a tester for this jailbreak for quite a while now. It's developed by Pound Oni here which is pretty much a former Electra team member who is now doing his own thing apart from the Electra team. He's no longer in the Electra team since the summer and he pushed a few updates to the uh, uncovered jailbreak. Of course since this video in here talks about the very first version which is the RC1 or release candidate one it was bound to have some bugs here and there on some devices even though we the testers did not catch up on some of them. So a few updates have been posted and it's very important to update to the latest version to have the best working version available. So if you take a look in here on the jailbreak page if you scroll all the way down in this uh, page in here you can see that there are the releases the change login here and we discussed in the video about the RC1 but now there is the RC6 available which fixes quite a lot of stuff. Now in the previous versions there were changes to the rootfs obliteration, there were changes to the uh, labels and so on, an attempt to fix the video subscription D crashes and unsupported error which appeared for some people if you had like iOS 11.0.1 or something you would get an unsupported error. Now it's no longer the case, it has been mitigated and it works fine. And on the RC6, which is the latest available at this moment, it enables logging, it improves the version checks and improves the memory management, but most important, it fixes the MPTCP exploit. Some people had problems signing the more stable MPTCP version and of course were forced to use the VFS one which is less than great because the exploit is very very unstable and you don't really get it to work from the first attempt. So if you want to sign with the MPTCP one you can now do that. However there was a problem. CD Impactor could not handle the MPTCP entitlement which is the multi-path. So an update has been pushed by Soric himself to the CD Impactor. The first update that would do that since the MPTCP exploit. So as you can see Soric cooperated quite a lot with this jailbreak. So if you are using CDI Impactor, go ahead and here on the Impactor, both on Windows and on a Mac or Linux, and you should press check for updates. You should have a new update in here, in fact two, and the first one is 0.9.48, which says copy multipath entitlement from IPA, which is pretty much the fix we are talking about, and then the 0.9.45, which apparently fixes an issue with the application starting on Windows. So you should definitely press install update in here and do the update, because it's very, very important. Now if you want to get the latest available CD Impactor you can do that by going in here and cdimpactor.com. It's available for both Windows and Mac OS and even Linux if that's your thing. But anyways you can get the latest version in here. This is the official website for the CD Impactor. So now you can sign it with the MPTCP one and if you do have a developer account it's definitely a better choice. So if you have problems like your jailbreak is stuck on the first out of 40 something and it keeps on rebooting, it's not a problem with the jailbreak itself or with the way it has been coded, it's a problem with the exploit you're using which is pretty much the less fortunate EL1 or empty list also called VFS exploit. That one works, doesn't require a paid developer account to sideload it, However, it doesn't work from the first attempt, you have to keep on trying it. So if your jailbreak, if your uncovered jailbreak gets stuck at 1 out of 40 something and it keeps on rebooting, then the problem is the exploit and all you have to do is to leave your device for 2 or 3 minutes and try again until you get it working. However, with the MPTCP one, if you have a developer account, that shouldn't be the case. You will be able to tell which version you use by going ahead in here on the settings. As you can see here, there is a button, the jailbreak and the settings, and in the settings there is the current exploit we talked about it in the video in here 
and this warning here shows you which exploit you are using. If you have iOS 11.0 all the way up to iOS 11.1.2, you will be using the AW in here, no doubt. But if you're running on something newer than iOS 11.1.2, you will be using either the EL or the MP. The MP stands for the MPTCP exploit and is the one that I recommend because this exploit in here actually works mostly from the first attempt. Anyways, these changes are very, very important. There were some problems reported by the community and by people who tested the initial versions of the jailbreak and they were all reported to the pound own account here, which is the developer of this jailbreak, and he quickly addressed them in the subsequent releases in here, all the way up to the RC6. So since this isn't a release candidate state and not a final version, make sure you check this page in here quite often to get the latest version available and make sure you are using the latest version. Now if you want to update from a previous version, all you have to do is to remove that one in there that you have on the phone and simply download the IPA for this one, sideload it with the um, CDI Impactor or whatever service you like, and of course get to jailbreak with that one. Now the RC6 has also been updated into the ignition.fun, so that's also a thing if you want to use a no computer version, and that should be the latest version available as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, I'm really happy to see that Sorry cooperated for this jailbreak and updated CDI Impactor properly to handle the MPTCP one, and of course he cooperated during the development and so on, the jailbreak is approved by him, the CDI version that is being used in this jailbreak in the uncover is approved by him, unlike the Electro one which is pretty much glued together with spit and hope and whatever so definitely switch to the uncover if you have the chance it's definitely a better jailbreak but i talked about the benefits in this video in here so if you missed it check it out in the description down below or in the cards up here thank you for watching guys i'm geos now until the next time subscribe to stay updated peace out